years old and I'm done with this school student. My name is Steven and I'm here to teach you how to survive high school. Right, so the first thing you gotta know, and this may, this mainly applies to the fresh students out there, you know, your sevens, you, you little children. Get to know your teachers before you use your phone. Because I know you will use your phone in the first day of your high school and you will get some grumpy ass crunk to take it away! Right, so in all seriousness, you got to understand. You, you, I know you. I know you kids. You want to use your phone because you, because you're either hip or cool. You got something to check on. Maybe you lost track of time. Let me tell you right now, Donnie, nah, nah, you have to establish which teachers are the cool and hip teachers or which teachers are those old grumpy ass teachers. That way you know, you know your phone is safe because they're going to be cool with it. And if you don't think you're cool with it and they're going to take your phone, don't you understand? They're going to take your So, so now that you calm down. You, you got to understand, this rule also applies to your more grizzled students, the mid-years, 8 to 10 year students, the ones that have been here long for a bit more time, got to you know and establish relationships with your teachers, right? So you think that you're there, you're cool, but you got to understand, your teachers are going to shift around, some may not be there anymore. You got to establish which teachers, new or old, are still going to be cool with you using your phone. It's also kind of for your classmates out there as well. You, you know those people that just are on their phone, the teachers... That actually gives you a good point, actually. The second point. You got to understand which group you want to associate yourself with and the groups that you don't. Now, this because you're go they're gonna pull you down to the dirt with you or you're gonna have them carry you with them so you can succeed with little to no, you know, effort. Because I know you, we're all lazy. We don't want to keep doing all the work by ourselves. But then what's the point if ever in the group is lazy? Or, you know, they're just gonna be on their phones and get the teachers looking at you so when you want to use your own phone, you can't. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Basically, what you're gonna have to do is, is you know, is like go back to rule one. Establish which people you know are gonna be troublemakers. Since you're, since you're gonna be a fresh person, this, this is gonna mostly apply to you. You're gonna have to, I don't know, go look for your friends that came with you to this school. Unless, of course, you know, you're one of those loners that didn't get any friends, which my condolences you just suck. Or, you know, you're just that kind of person. So now that we establish rule one, two, three, we're on to rule four. You gotta understand what rule four is, right? So, you know, if there's gonna be a lot of homework coming, there's gonna be a lot of tests coming too. And, and you gotta understand, here, here's the key thing you gotta understand. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Those years kind of don't count in the education system right now. And I don't know if they still will by the time I'm giving you this message of hope or despair because you're, you're hopeless. You, you don't understand how to survive high school. And you're just watching this because you have to. Which I don't know why you would have to because you have to do with me. So tell me, did you really cringe at all? Or did you not just care? Because I know some of you won't. You're probably on your phone watching this video because you can't be asked to listen to this advice that this person who has gone through high school is giving you. So, if you probably didn't guess by now, which I probably would suspect you wouldn't have guessed because this is a clear indication to any rule at all. Rule 5. Keep your interest to yourself if it's not going to be appreciated school-wide. Right, so rule number 6 is the most important rule of all, but at the least. KNOW YOUR PLACE! Right, what I mean by rule number 6 with knowing your place is that if you're a fresh person or you're seven, you know, those little children running around, you have to understand, you're not, you're not top of the crap. You're not the top of the food chain around here. No one's gonna tolerate your crap, mate. You, you, you're not the top dog, the ear trails are. And even then, if you're even your friends with them, you're, you're worth nothing. You have no value here, mate. 
Like everyone's sick of you running around thinking you're the boss of everything, huh? You think you're top. You think you're the beast. You think you're beast mode. Let me tell you one thing, mate. No, no one tolerates that. Even me. I don't tolerate it. But with me, right? I'll get you officially in trouble. I'll report your ass straight to the office. These are some other year trouble, mate. These are some other year trouble. They're gonna beat you down, mate. They're gonna, they're gonna throttle stomp you. Don't you understand? I'm trying to save you from that. Right. So now we're gonna pass rule seven. It's time to go to move to rule eight, which is establishing type of work. Because I know for a fact that once you get to rule six, which will require more time, because you haven't been doing time productively in the meantime. Because you've been playing video games or sitting on your bum. Be so now that we calm down and that didn't waste any more mean time. You have to establish rules is eight, right? Requires you to actually do productive tasks in the meantime while you're waiting for your test and homework to arrive. Otherwise, you're just sitting on your bum doing nothing, right? You're doing nothing. That's why you rely on rule seven. You need more of those teachers. You gotta need them to save your ass because you've been wasting your time. Now, I know for a fact that you don't understand me quite well when I mean time. Oh, I think you're doing right later. No, 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 that's not what I mean. What I mean is that you're gonna need them to save you, but you it's better you- Alright, there's a bit of a little disclaimer here as well for upcoming Rule 9. I'm not here to help you succeed high school. You got to understand that it all comes down to you if you want to succeed high school other than surviving. Because sure, you can get through just high school just fine. But you gotta understand that succeeding and surviving are two separate entities, as you can tell. Alright, so the ninth rule that you're gonna be probably wondering is, Steven, what is the ninth rule? You covered a lot of topics already. Well, it essentially is, don't let your mother dress for you. Don't let them. It's nice if they, if you get them to help you, but don't, you gotta understand, they're gonna end up getting you in the in trouble with the teachers as well. That, that's not gonna be a good way to survive high school if you're gonna have them walk up in sports uniforms and the teacher gonna be telling you off. You don't realize how unlikely it is and how dumb you would look by saying, My mom gave me the sports uniform, fam, because I don't have my uniform today because it's in the laundry. You got to understand, you have to take it to your own hands and tell your mom it's not alright. Trust me, it's gonna save you a lot of headaches and a lot of paperwork to do from the student services or whatever office you're working from. Right, so now we're at the room 9.5 in shh, shut, 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 this, this is my video, my rules, my survival guide to high school. You don't get to make anything of me, I can. I'm the one making this video, I'm the one editing it, so you can listen to me, because by this point you're crazy enough to still stick with me, right? I'm just a person here to help you. I'm nothing special. I'm in a protective rank because rule 9.5 is prepared for anything. So you gotta bring those calculators with you. You gotta bring the raincoat with your umbrellas. You never know when Reddit will strike down because God will one day think, Oh hey, you see this kid walking on the street. He's gonna come in. He's gonna come. Oh there is. Let's ram in his artwork. His artwork he spent five weeks working on and it's gone. Ruined. Dead. That's it. He has an F, he has a zero in his work, now he's failing, his parents is only because he's so bad, he's bad because he's so bad, don't you understand, it's bad, you got to understand, it's gonna be so bad for him. Right, so now we've gotten to the last and most important rule in this survival guide to high school by me, Steven, you know, I'm not gonna tell you the last name if I don't know you, I mean some of you will know me, but I'm not gonna tell you, right, so the most important rule in this Number 10 list of survival guides by me, Steven, right? Is be yourself. And what I mean by that, mate, right? What I mean by being yourself is not, not, not those, uh, 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 right? I'm trying to tell you that don't let other people influence what you want to do if you know you don't want to do it. Trust me, mate. You're gonna invite you. All right, let's go with this group here. I'm not gonna like it, but I want to be part of them because it's fun. It's not gonna be fun, mate, if you don't like it. You're gonna have a hard time. Don't do something because everyone else is doing it. Do, do something because you're gonna enjoy it or it's gonna be easier for you to get through high school. I said before, I'm not here to help you succeed high school, but this will help you succeed high school, all right? I'm not gonna be babysitting you because I won't even know you or probably most of you. I'm just trying to tell you, be yourself, trust yourself, 
Make the decision for yourself. Don't let anyone influence you. Right, so now that you got to the end of my survival guide, I hope you can make it through the rest of my high school, but remember, it's up to you if you want to succeed. Right, mate? You got it? You watch my video? You're crazy. That's it, that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe to my videos, and hit that notification button to win a free fidget gift card giveaway.